Hey guys, I'm here to show you a tutorial. It's been a long time since I've been uh, on YouTube, but I wanted to show you a fun little seahorse. So for that, uh, we're gonna need two 260s, a white five inch round and a black five inch round. For our first 260, it's gonna be a little bit more than halfway. And we're going to do a tulip twist. So just push in the knot right at the end, grab onto it, and give it a good twist. And then push that knot back up into the balloon, and this makes the snout of our little seahorse. Go two fingers, a small bubble that will then become a pinch twist, a squeeze, and a small loop. Enough to feed. This 260 through here. But before pulling it all the way, we're gonna stop. We're gonna get our white five inch round. About this big. Split that in half. Followed up by a black five inch round. About the size is one of the eyeballs. And then we're also going to split that in half. Go ahead and lock those together. We're going to slide them inside that loop created for the head of our seahorse. And then we're going to put our fingers on both sides of that and give it a pull until it's nice and snug. This pinch twist is going to get switched to the bottom. Position that so it looks cute. Then we're gonna come down two fingers, do two small loops, for the fins of our little seahorse. We're then gonna come down three fingers, and we're gonna put a small bubble. This is gonna be a pinch twist. we're at this point. Get your other 260. We're going to inflate it. Maybe a little more than half. We're not going to use much. We're going to lock that into this junction point between the two fins. And we're going to make a little dorsal fin. So two finger bubble, a small bubble, and then matching two finger bubble and lock it right back in. But how's this coming out the front? So this is gonna be the tummy of our seahorse. Now for this, instead of just going down, we're gonna kind of push up the seahorse and we're gonna look right here and lock that into that pinch twist on the bottom. If this is going to go in the flower petal, you could leave it here, but we're going to make it a bracelet. We're going to give a little pinch twist. So we have this. We're going to shape this tail, so we'll just curl it up forward. We're going to get rid of the rest of this, but pop it at the end. Because this is going to serve as <clears throat> our bracelet. So make the loop big enough for the person's hand or arm to fit through. And wrap that back in. And you can just stack the rest. And this is a little bracelet to be worn on the side, just like this. If you want to take it one step further, I usually do, get a light blue. 260 and just puff some air into it, tie it off. This is going to be the iris of our seahorse design. So we're going to feed this through halfway and just tuck this side in over here, pull a little bit snug and tuck this side in over here. And then we have a super cute seahorse that's really, really quick. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.